Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about Cycle Bar. If you guys are new here, make sure you are subscribed and also turn on your post notifications. Also follow me on Instagram because it would mean the absolute world to me. And I guess without further ado, let's just get on into this video and why you clicked on it. So I was wondering the same question too, like how do I place higher in the class? How can I get a higher rank? Like I wanna at least be in the top five or six, you know? I am still pretty new at Cycle Bar. Um, I am around like the 28th, 28th ride mark and I just celebrated my 25th ride. So I've been going quite a bit and I have learned a few things. So first off, um, I wanna talk about the elephant in the room, the question of how you can place higher in the class. So my first tip and trick and what I've read on the Reddit sites, um, if I can slash if I remember to, I will link it down below where I found this information. It is kind of old. I still feel like it can apply to today's age in the cycle bar atmosphere or like cycle bar in general. So I don't think that it's out of date news because like I kind of tried it and it kind of worked. I don't really know. Their algorithms and stuff can always change. So this is just what I have come across and what I think will help you place higher. It is really all about like gear and power. So basically the gear is the number with the little asterisk next to it. Also too, by the way, like I'm not a pro, I'm not a professional. I don't teach any classes. This is just from an attendee's point of view. So I don't know everything factual, but this is just what I wanted to share. Just wanted to put that in there. So really you gotta focus on gear. If you stay on gear like 10 or above the entire class and pedal like really fast. So your RPM, which stands for, I believe, revelations or revolutions per minute, RPM, so it makes sense. That's the wheels turning, if you don't know what that is. Um, if you pedal, pedal, pedal fast at a high gear, that obviously increases your power. So you always want that gear to be as high as it can be. So um, one of the Reddit sites said to, always be at gear 11 and have the power be at least 150 or above like the entire class, which I can't do and I don't recommend you do that. I mean like you can do whatever you want, but um, just make sure that gear is high and that your power bar, like the power stat is like 150 or above and you can rank high, um, you could be like one or two. That's just what that site said. And another huge thing for placing higher in the class. So you're gonna open up your Cycle Bar app. Hopefully you remember, if not, I don't know, I guess you can still create an account, like I don't really know. So you're gonna go and click the three um, dots or dashes on the top and that'll bring up like your memberships, your information. So you're gonna scroll down to personal details. So the personal details is really important. It has your first name, your last name, your date of birth and zip code. What you wanna do is put in all of this information, your weight, your shoe size, and then your gender because this will help you and the bike and everything register um, to be the most accurate. So um, just make sure you put in that info. This is what mine looks like. So if you guys were wondering, that is what mine looks like. That'll definitely help you place higher in the class. It gives Cycle Bar more information. Um, also, you gotta factor in the calibration of the bike itself because there's some bikes that this one, bike told me I burned 600 calories and like my gear was at like 25 and clearly that is not accurate. So it really just depends on your bike as well. Um, I found a couple bikes that I have found to be like pretty accurate in like my metrics and stuff. Um, so I tend to like stick to those bikes because I don't want 
like an inflated number because of the bike not being like calibrated right. Um, also too, the black bikes, in my opinion, are a little harder than the white bikes. The white bikes are very, um, very easy, like easier and they feel a lot bigger too. They're bulkier um, than the black bikes. So if you have a studio that has the black bikes, um, I find that those are, they are newer. So they're gonna be like more accurate and you're just gonna have a better time with that. My biggest tip is high gear, like around 11 and then 150 for that power. And then a lot of people say you can just literally stay at that rate, you know, the entire class and not do any of the like the choreography and not do anything else and then you will place pretty high. Um, I don't really follow that religiously and I don't really recommend you to do that because I like doing the choreography because it's really fun and I just find it to be really helpful. I used to really care about the rank and everything, but now I don't care as much. I really wanna work on finding the rhythm because I find that to be hard. Like I can, I know rhythm and I know like the beat of stuff because I used to dance. So clearly like I know that, but when I'm riding the bike, I can hear it and like my feet are trying to do it. But like my brain isn't connecting to my legs to like get it on the beat. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's really what I'm working on now. And I really just pay attention to like the calories and stuff. So I like to personally keep my gear around like seven or eight. And then when I'm standing, it's like at 10 or 11. Um, but that's just me. Okay, so I think I've answered that question. Again, if you have any other questions about placing, like I remember when I first started, like I had so many questions about like placing in cycle bar because like I didn't want to be like the second to last person like in the class. It's kind of discouraging at times, like not gonna lie. Um, but sometimes they don't show the leaderboard in the connect classes, so it's not that bad. The next part of this video, I wanted to touch on some questions I got. Um, so thank you for asking questions. So nice of you. This is from Lex O'Kennan. I think that's what your name is. So they asked, what happens in a spin class if you like get too tired to keep going? Will anyone notice if you stop slash is it an option? So the first part of the question is if you get too tired, like can you stop? You can totally stop. Like you can just pedal like with no gear and just like move your legs and not do anything. Or you can just actually stop and it's fine. Like it doesn't matter. Will anyone notice if you stop slash is that an option? Yes, that's an option. And I mean, I don't know if like, I mean the person next to you might realize it or maybe the instructor, but you're kind of in the dark. So it's not like you can see that well. It's not like a spotlight. It's not like normal room lights, if that's what you mean. So it's kind of like dark. So not a lot of people will notice. To take a breather, I usually work out at crunch, but I feel like classes might be the same way. Definitely, um, you can definitely take breaks in the cycle bar classes. You can't really like get off the bike, but you can just like sit there, I guess. Um, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, and then she said, that's such a cute place. I love the mugs and the muffin looks so good. I really don't like hot drinks either. Anyway, those are her questions. And again, you can go to cycle bar and just like literally sit there and pedal with like no gear and you don't have to do the choreography if you don't want to. It's like really for all fitness levels. So don't feel like you have to do anything in the classes that like you need to do. Like you can do you, you can rock your own ride at your own pace. So that's the beauty of it. Yeah, I think that's gonna be about it for this video. I wanted to make this video because I, there's not a lot of resources out there about this and this question. So I hope I could be of some help to you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section and I will do my best to reply to you guys and follow me on Instagram, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.